Why not have a crack at this very cool looking piece of art? I mean cake. Start with some white chocolate buttons and melt them. Add yellow food colouring and give it a stir. We are going to spoon that onto some baking paper. Making our leaf-like shapes. How artistic is that? Chill that, let it set, and then carefully peel them off. Get your vanilla cake, pre-made or bought from the store. And layer it with buttercream icing. Nice thick layers. Let's do three layers and coat the entire outside with more buttercream icing. Use a spinning plate to make it easier and a food piping bag and then just smooth it all out. Creating a nice smooth surface ready to decorate with your set white chocolate pieces. Stick them on as you wish, creating a feather-like pattern. As you can see, we've done the same as we did with the yellow food colouring with all different colours, melting that white chocolate, colouring it as desired, letting it set, and then here you go, you can make a masterpiece. Very little effort involved. Stick on a few macarons. These multicolours look absolutely fantastic and vibrant against the white buttercream icing. Can you believe how easy that was? Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious too. Oh, which bit shall I eat first? You can now make cookies as amazing as the ones in the store. These yummy rainbow cookies are perfect for Valentine's Day treats. With an amazing rainbow heart interior, these cookies are sure to surprise everyone. Ingredients are so simple, all you need is some cookie dough and food colouring, and then just follow the simple steps in our video. So, let's get started. First up, just get 500 grams of cookie dough, slice it up into six pieces. Now we're going to colour each one with different food colouring, starting with yellow, then orange. You could just swipe it on with a knife, then red, and green, using your hands to mix it in each time. Purple next, and then blue, or whichever colours you prefer. Now we've got our cookie doughs ready, cover in cling film and roll it out with a rolling pin in between two magazines to keep two straight sides. Do that with each of your cookie doughs. Then, use wa then using water as glue, you can start to layer them one on top of the other in whichever order you like. Slicing off the ends and the sides. Now we can use our heart cookie cutter to size up our segments and slice them up. Turn them on their sides and time to cut your heart shape out. Piling them one on top of the other using water as glue again. Now put that in some cling film and chill. Now we're going to get some plain cookie dough, rolling it into very thin sausage shapes. We're going to just wrap those around the outside of our heart. Wrap it back in cling film again and then with your hands, roll it until it all blends together and you can't see the rainbow anymore. Now we're going to roll that in sprinkles. And slice it up into our cookies. Bake those at 170 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. And there you have it, gorgeous rainbow heart cookies. If you love colourful cooking, then you're going to love this rainbow layered cake by Nyam Nyam. We're going to show you in some easy steps how to bake one. Absolutely perfect for birthday parties. All you need is butter, sugar, eggs, food colouring and some self-raising flour. So, let's get started. Start by mixing 750 grams of butter with an equal amount of caster sugar. Use an electric whisk for ease. 
crack in nine eggs. Whisk them in. You can do this one by one. And add 750 grams of self-raising flour. Then mix it all together till it's perfectly combined. In six separate containers, add six different food dyes and a spoonful of milk to each one. Mix them up and then add them to your cake dough. One by one in a floured cake tin, you can bake them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 170 degrees. Take them out one by one, slice off the top and around the edge to tidy it up and you have a very nice neat circle of varying colours. Next, you can stick them on one by one with buttercream icing in between each colourful layer. Now these layers are rather thin so we want to take special care when handling them. Then cover the entire cake in buttercream icing. Smooth it all out. There. Next we can add on our rainbow icing. This can get very messy but it's super fun and super colourful. Perfect. Look at that. Yum Yum brings to you a delicious and magical rainbow lava cake just for you to make at home for your favourite person in the house. The inside of this molten cake is filled with bright beautiful colours that erupt when you dig in. All you need is some coloured candy melts, butter, white chocolate, eggs, sugar, vanilla extract, flour and whipped cream. So let's get started. All you need is some coloured candy melts. Melt those in three separate bowls, get a plastic sheet and then just drizzle them on one at a time with a spoon, creating a gorgeous colourful rainbow effect. This is going to decorate your cake later. Put that aside, meanwhile get a third of a cup of butter, mix that with six ounces of white chocolate, melt that in a jug and mix one egg white with four egg yolks in a separate mixing bowl. Once that's all been mixed together you can add a quarter of a cup of sugar and whisk it again. Now we're going to spoon in our melted butter and white chocolate mixture and a little dash of vanilla extract and quarter of a cup of flour. Once that's ready to go, we're going to spoon it into three separate bowls ready to colour for our rainbow cake. You can use any colours you like. What are your favourite colours? We're using red. Then we're going to use green. Finally, we're going to use some yellow food colouring. Perfect to brighten up any special occasion. Stick a bit of baking paper in the bottom of a buttered oven-proof bowl and start to pour in your coloured mixtures. One at a time, side by side. Beautiful, then we're going to layer it, pouring different colours on top of different colours to make a gorgeous rainbow effect. You can use as many colours as you like. Now stick that in the oven at 200 degrees for just 11 to 12 minutes, it's super fast. Once it's ready, turn it upside down on a plate, remove the baking paper and splodge some gorgeous whipped cream on top. As much as you like of that, your candy melts are ready, crack it in half and stick it on top for a finishing touch. Slice away and look at that. Gorgeous. These ice cream sandwiches are delicious fancy treats but are incredibly simple to make. Keep your family cool with these amazing ice cream biscuit sandwiches. This recipe will show you how to make everything from scratch. A complete guide with ingredients like flour, cocoa powder, whipping cream, fresh fruits and more. These ice cream biscuit sandwiches will put you in a good mood. So let's get started. Get 480 millilitres of whipping cream, one can of condensed milk, whisk it up, split into three bowls, add coconut, chocolate chips and raspberry jam. Spread those out and add some mini marshmallows. Freeze those for a while. When they're ready, you can put them on a chopping board and cut out your desired shapes. Now get some unsalted butter and caster sugar, 200 grams of each, one egg, whisk them up with 400 grams of plain flour. Split that into three bowls, add lemon in one, cocoa powder in the other and peanut butter in the last bowl. Whisk those together once more. Wrap each dough in cling film, chill, then roll out and cut out. Bake those at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. When they're ready, you can use melted chocolate to stick on your decorations. Maybe sprinkles, dried fruit, or even desiccated coconut. 
sandwich it up with your ice cream in the middle and Bob's your uncle. Delicious! Fancy yourself as a bit of an artist? Well then, this one is for you. All you need is 13 grams of sugar, 15 grams of agar powder mixed with 500 millilitres of water. Heat them on the stove, stirring all the while. Once it starts bubbling, you can take it off the heat. Now we're gonna cool it down in a bowl of ice water, stirring it to help the cooling process. Now that can go into our moulds. We're just going to fill them halfway because we're going to add a carnation in each one. And fill the rest up with your agar. And that's going to be chilled. Once it's ready, we turn it upside down, add a drizzle of brown sugar sauce, and there you have it. Too good to eat. Now, we're going to add strawberries to the next one. Again, pouring our clear jelly mixture on top. Those are going to be chilled. Strawberry-licious. Add a little bit of sauce on top, and you can experiment with different fruits. Now, we're going to add a little bit of agar mixture, and we're going to chill it when it's just half full. Meanwhile, adding agar into two separate jugs, adding some silver powder into each. Red food colouring goes into one, and purple food colouring in the other. Mix them up. We're going to prick out any bubbles from our agar jelly that's already been set and pour our sparkly purple and silver mixtures on top to create a swirling pattern. Chill it and there you have a galaxy jelly. Now add 13 grams of sugar with your 15 grams of agar powder with 450 millilitres of water heating it all the while. Add 50 millilitres of butterfly pea to give it a beautiful blue colour and a squeeze of lemon. Whisk it once again. Once dissolved, that's going to go into our mould, filling it all the way to the top this time. You can really be creative with these designs. We're going to chill this until it's set. And it's ready. Look at that. Jelly-tastic. Spreading love one cake at a time, Nyam Nyam brings you a chocolate explosion drip cake with a perfectly moist chocolate cake base, chocolate buttercream and a chocolate ganache glaze topped with your favourite chocolates. This chocolate loaded cake is every chocolate lover's dream. Let's get started. First you need a 400 gram bar of dark chocolate and we're going to cut that up into small pieces. Next, we're going to add 200 millilitres of whipping cream to a pan and let it bubble away on the stove. Then we're going to pour that hot whipping cream onto our broken chocolate pieces and whisk away until it's all dissolved. And there we have our chocolate ganache. Next, we're going to get our chocolate sponge cake. We're going to cut it in half and on the first layer add our chocolate ganache. On our second layer, we're going to put some buttercream chocolate. Spread that all along the top and around the sides, completely covering our cake. Smooth it over if you wish, then add our chocolate ganache around the edges, creating a drip down effect and over the entire top. Smooth that over and time to add your favourite chocolates. Ferrero Rocher, Maltesers, Toblerone, even an Oreo cookie or two. Why not cut them in half? Absolutely delicious and super fast and super easy to make. Would not mind a slice of that. 